Good morning everybody, welcome back. So today, look where we are. The great Sigurdus Ur. Ur. I, <laughs> for such a long time, I keep calling it Ur, uh, the Ziggurat of Ur. Uh. But yes, this is the great Ziggurat of Ur. I uh, can't believe, I can't believe I'm here. I can't believe I'm looking at this right now. It looks absolutely incredible and it looks even better in person. Like all the like videos and um, pictures that I've seen, they do not do it justice. Damn, it's crazy. Uh, you used to be able to walk up it, um, all the way to the top, but unfortunately you cannot anymore, which makes sense and it is very, very old, a very old structure. Ooh, what's this? Ancient Sumerian city of Ur. That's when this was built thousands and thousands of years ago. It's very windy out here though, I must say. Very, very windy. This has got to be one of the most incredible historical sites I have, I've ever seen. England. Welcome. Well, thank you. Where are you? Where are you from, Nazaria? Uh, where are you from? Uh, Baghdad. Baghdad. Yeah, Baghdad. 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 Nice to meet you. Nice yes. to meet you too. It's a very beautiful. Where are you yes. from? England. Uh -huh. Nice to meet uh -huh. you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Do you mind taking a picture of me in front of this? What? Yes. Do you mind taking a picture of me? Yes. Thank of you. Course. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. Bye bye. Hopefully, I see you in Baghdad. Yeah. Well, welcome to Baghdad. Thank welcome you. Baghdad. I will see you there. Incredible. I really am impressed with it. I don't know how the audio will be. I don't know how um, it's going to affect it, how windy. see other tourists here to be honest so they were from the Czech Republic Katarina, who I met earlier it's quite um, funny seeing someone who actually speaks English <laughs> and not having to use Google Translate it's quite funny oh, I can't go in here this is the Duval Maka temple Maka temple Closed today. Have a look over here, some more ruins. But yeah, this used to be like a huge city. Um, and really, that's all that's left of it now. Which is kind of incredible. After what, like 3,000, 4,000 years, this is what remains. I mean, the ziggurat is still pretty, um, the top has completely degraded, but it's still in pretty good shape, to be honest. 4,000 years. Although it was like restored by the Babylonians, to be fair. Okay, here are some uh, I think this is what's been um, excavated. Excavated? Ex excavated. Excavated from the Kursag building. Kur Kursag building. I hope I am reading that correctly. If you guys want to read that. more information on the ziggurat but here's all that's left of these not too much 
it's still like it just feels incredible to be here to be so close to what this city would have been like i can just imagine it it's like a, it's really i always get a weird feeling when i come to these historical sites I, do, I, I can't describe it. Almost like nostalgic, I feel like. Oh, there's a fly on my... <laughs> Gone fly. Yeah, almost like nostalgic. But, yeah, it's, it's strange. I don't know why. Or why, or how, how, that, how do I have that feeling? But that's what I have. But yeah, this place is quite, um, quite remote. It wasn't actually that hard for me to get here. Um, there was one checkpoint, and it didn't take long. It took like five minutes, uh, and they only wanted to see my passport. I've heard that sometimes they take your passport while you're here. So, yeah, it can be quite... I've heard it can be tricky for other people. Because there's a um, prison nearby, and that's why it, takes, it can take some time to get here. But... I think as the years go on, it will become a bit more easier for tourists. Some more of the ruins. I think if I was to come with like a tour guide, I would have been able to maybe get in. Some of these, like, walk down there. But I'm not sure, because it's because the ziggurat is closed itself, I don't know how much they actually are letting people, um, like, walk around the sites now. I feel like eventually they're going to do more with it, excavate it. Because I don't, I don't think this is all of it. I think there's still more underground that they can do. They can dig up. There's still, I feel like there's still so much they haven't discovered here. And I think a lot of these touristy sites that they were trying to do up, like they were there to stop during, because Iraq has been just so many wars, they haven't really been able to maintain maintain the kind of tourist places I don't know if like I said I don't know if these this is open on different days I apologize about the wind guys it's not too hot here either it's actually very nice it's a very nice breeze it's quite cool there she is in all her glory so <laughs> something a bit funny um, I play Minecraft and I always like building like ziggurats like all the time that's what um, inspired me the ziggurat of uh, I always build them I just love love the architecture it's my, like probably my favorite it's so amazing I do wish I could kind of walk up there I think that would be very interesting to see like just everything from the top of it. So that is the Ziggurat of Ur, guys. Honestly, a very incredible location. Um, I could come here again so, like, very easily just to see this. Like, it looks beautiful and just the feeling you get when you're here, it just is very incredible. Wow. Very cool. Very, very cool. I really just can't get over how, like, of a marvel this is. It truly is amazing. It's so amazing. So we're gonna head back to Nazaria now and get some food because I, for one, am very hungry. So I'll see you guys there. We finished our food, so now we're just gonna wait for uh, our friend. So now we're going to head to Chabayish and see the marshes. Um, the fr my friend from yesterday, Samari, has hooked me up and he has got me in contact with someone who's going to take me. So, yes, thank you to him and to Hussein who will be taking me down there. So we're just going to wait for him now and then we'll go on down. How are you? Hey, I'm fine, I'm good. I'm good, thank you. So you are Hussein? Yep. Hussein, yeah, nice Hussein, to meet yeah. you. Nice to meet you, Hussein. We go to Chubayesh. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Water. Oh, where am I going? Lots of, lots of water. Yeah, we stopped off to get some snacks. We have this little like fish ice cream kind of cake waffly thing. I tried it in there, it was really nice, but I'll try for you guys. Oh. 
I really like her. It's really nice looking inside. Mmm, very nice. Guys, look at all the living camels. Ah, oh, can I put this thing? Hello, camel. Hello. <laughs> They're very pretty. I want to ride a camel eventually. Very good. Very good camel. Yalla, yalla. <laughs> are at the Iraqi uh, Mata Monument, which is right behind me. There it is. There's some information about it here, guys. Central Marsh component. If you want to pause the video and read any of that, you're more than welcome to. Oh, it is very hot. Very, very hot. I think this is a, a museum. I'm not entirely sure, but we're going to go and check it out. Whew. It is definitely way hotter down here, I'm not going to lie. But it is a bit later in the day, because I was at Ur in the morning, and now it is the afternoon. It's Hussein. Oh, he is. We're leaving Hussein behind. We'll wait for him. But yeah, these are the marshes, guys. These, This bits here have been dried up, though. <laughs> Guys, it's boiling. My sunglasses on. It is considered a museum that symbolizes the Iraqi martyr. Ah, yeah. I see, I see. These graves aren't marked though. Yeah, they're all unmarked graves. Yeah, this is actually closed today. Martyr's Monument. Thank you. Name of this? Made up. The name is Host. Sorry? House. House. Yep. House. Like a house, really. House. Sure. So it's made out of reeds. <clears throat> it's all made out. It's like how cool it is, guys. Yeah, we saw them in um, Basra, the ones that were like, I don't know, they, they were real, but they were built there. They're so. Great. Sorry? Right. Read off reeds. Read off reeds. Okay, <laughs> it's much cooler in here. There's actually bands as well. Keeps it very cool. I have no idea how they even make these things. It takes a lot of skill, I would imagine. Now we just sat down. I don't know if we're going to eat or not. I'm not entirely sure. So I'm just using the Google Translate to get around today because no one, no one speaks English yet, that I've met yet. I think there are a few people when I arrived, but yeah. What's your name? Bachai. Bachai. Bachai, yeah. Bachai. Bachai. Sheikh Bachai. Sheikh Bachai. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you so much. Shukran. Shukran. It's beautiful down here. Yeah, we're gonna eat food first and then um, we'll get a boat and take it along the river further into the marshes, I would imagine. It's crazy out here. I haven't got my shoes on, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna walk down here. My socks are getting a bit dirty, but it's fine. Ah, oh, there's a boat over there. Damn, I'm so excited to go on a boat, one of these. I wonder what they're actually called though. It looks like a lot of fun. Little boat man. Let's go down to the boats. Have a look at them. Oh, wire. Ah. I assume we're gonna, oh my God, there's puppies. I want to see the puppies. Ah, these boats are cool though. 
Um, I want to see the puppies. Salam alaikum. Salam. Oh, he's taking his boat. Right, we'll go back now. So we're going to have food in a minute and then we will have a little boat ride. We're on the marshes. Here's our food, guys. We have fish, uh, watermelon, hello, <laughs> um, <coughs> tomato, cucumber, salad. We have Hussein. Hello, Hussein. Hello, friend. <laughs> Looks amazing, so we're going to eat now. Salam alaikum. Okay, we're going to try this fish from Jabayish from the marshes. Mm. 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 Of course, as nice as always. Mm. And this one isn't too hot. Usually every every chai I've had has been like boiling hot, but this one is actually Yeah, it doesn't burn my taste buds. <laughs> ah, that's at the boat over there. Salam alaikum. <laughs> oh guys, it's so cool. Alright, off we go into the marshes. Where we started. Oh, damn. That's how we had food. That was honestly amazing. So cool. Such a cool experience. Right, now let's try and get out of this boat without falling off. Oh. Okay. Awkwardly. I do not want to fall. I'm very clumsy. Yeah. Oh, phone. Thank you. He left my phone. Let's go. Ah, don't fall. Don't fall. 
Okay, we made it. Perfect. That was so cool. I love that. <laughs> yes, very good. Very, very good. Hello. <laughs> Come on, baby, let's go. I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming Come on, baby. <laughs> Okay guys, we're gonna head back to Nazaria now. I'm done with the marshes for today. Um, honestly, it was a really incredible experience. I think that everyone should be able to do this. You should come down here because honestly, it's just one of the best experiences I've ever had. So yeah, Hussan, people should come do this. Come here, come to Iraq. <laughs> come to Nazaria. Come to Nazaria, come to Gibraltar. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>